This is a first for me, and it might be a last. It's hard to believe, but I purchased an LED streetlight. LED, yeah. Or DEL if it's in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know why, for some reason, that's just amusing to me. The days are getting longer. Sodium bulbs are getting scarcer. Sodium ballasts are getting scarcer. And the reality is, once I go to sleep, all the sodium light is largely wasted because I don't think any of the people driving by really care about it. I think the neighbors are sleeping and they don't care about it. The weather doesn't care about it. So I'm thinking maybe it would make sense. Not for energy saving purposes because it costs me about $3.75 per month to run those lights per fixture. So we're talking $7, $8, nothing um, a month. But for the sake of keeping some hours off the off the sodium fixtures maybe it makes sense to run this when I go to sleep instead and maybe it's a piece of junk and it will not be usable in which case I'll send it back gonna go into this with an open mind maybe it's good I don't know what to expect so this is an American electric light and the model number I don't know what the model number is the catalog number is WL1A PRM D3M PTLP7 DLRF D260710 to 30 watts which is considerably less than well, hold on. It's a 30 watts, but we got to see how the brightness is. Right now, in the yard, at 270s gives me 140, wa uh, 140 watts, which to light the whole yard, to me, is not bad. Um, 30 is a lot less than 140, but again, it's a lot less of not much. So, whoop de doo It don't make much difference. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to check this outside tonight. Because as you probably heard on the weather alert, it's going to the thunderstorm. So, I'm not going to check an electrical appliance outside during the thunderstorm. I'll check it inside. Alright, here it is. I mean, it requires a shorting cap. I don't think I have one on hand. So this is what it looks like. It appears to be one single diode. And that's actually glass in there. This of course is plastic. This is like the same stuff that's on the lights out there now. This looks a lot better designed than most of the ones that we see on the streets today. But again, who knows, we gotta check it out first. It's got a pretty pretty serious heat sink on the top. Which is not a good sign because that means it's probably overdriving the diode a little bit. These light, uh, these lights, these wires that go to the DEL are pretty small, but of course, if it's only a, if it's only a 30 watt, then uh, don't need much. So let's see here. You know, quite frankly, the easiest thing to do is going to be to grab the, um, just grab the cap from the 
light out in the front. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, here's the cap from the light on the front. That should work. All right, so inside we have a variety of components. We have, looks like a transformer down there. And we have a capacitor, I imagine. I think that's a capacitor. Is that a... I don't know. It's probably a capacitor. And I don't, I don't know LED street lights, so I don't know if there's any other components. I would think not. Well, I guess there's not much else to do besides turn it on. Connect the cord up. I, it, it looks, it actually looks promising. The diode is, it's all glass here. It actually looks promising. Everything in here is tied down pretty well. That's decent. I don't know what's up with this. It, it's kind of weird, but it's like uh, melted on something or others. Oh, there's that thunder coming. I guess I better do this quick so I can go upstairs and watch the storm instead of play with street lights here in the basement. The ground I'm not going to be able to hook up because it's there. There's a thing on the power cord. This isn't the cord I wanted to use. I couldn't find the cord that I wanted to use. Come on, bruh. What the heck? Alright, it's wired up. Go ahead and close this. I don't like that this is not making a weather tight seal because we're going to find bugs and other undesirables will make their way in and make nests in there and cause problems. So I don't like that. Other than that, I can't see too much about it that's not right. Standard cap, standard uh, photo eye connection there. That's good. It doesn't look cool like the old street lights did. You know, old sodium ones, a vapor, mercury vapor, metal halide. But if it works, it works. See if there's any interesting tanglish in here before we get going. Doesn't look like it. 15 uh, inch polish for the terminal block. Alright, let's plug this thing in. That did not appear to be instant on. It's not instant on, it like fades on. Okay, brightness check. 
Well, there are some other lights on in the room right now. There's those two ceiling lights, but they're not doing much. So, is it bright? Yeah, for 30 watts? Yeah, for 30 watts it's not bad. I can definitely see the, uh, the refracting of the light. So this, this lens is halfway decent at least. It's, it's spreading the light around okay. And as far as looking at it, it's not blinding. Once you get under the, uh, under the shade it's blinding, but the, the shade on there definitely helps to keep some of the glare down. Well, we'll have to test it outside of course to tell, but I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's a little, little flickery, but not crazy. Definitely a lot of light for 30 watts. There's a, there's a chance it could work. It's not warm white, but it's not like super blue either. It's pretty pure white. I can tolerate the color of it. Actually kind of a good task light. Just one singular diode in there. It's not hot yet, but I'm sure it'll heat up over time. Let's take a look at our power draw here. 120 volts, no air conditioners are on, so the voltage is high. Or not high, it's right where it should be. 0.29 amps, 35 the watts, power factor 0.99. So electrically, it's not bad. Well, I don't know. It's definitely not an immediate disappointment. It doesn't seem as, as bright as I would have expected, but then again, it's not supposed to, I don't think that it's supposed to be brighter than the lights that are outside right now. I think it's only supposed to be equivalent to the lights that are outside right now. And these, these HID lights, a lot of times when you're looking at them close up, they don't seem very bright because their, their performance really comes into play. They really start to shine, haha, -ha, when they're higher up. That's when they really get their advantage, when they can throw the light really far. So, I suspect once I get this outside, it'll be much more uh, satisfactory, if not even impressive. So, oh, it's okay. I, I don't hate it like I thought I would. It's kind of ugly, especially compared to the old style, but you know, even just making it white would have been better than silver. But, I don't know, well, I'll, I'm willing to give it a try. The uh, mounting seems sturdy. It'll take the same traditional pole. I'll give it a shot. And maybe uh, I can use it for the nighttime duty just to save some of the hours on the, on the sodium fixtures. <laughs>